Hi, I'm Tori Brayton with O&M's Kimball. I'm the assistant superintendent on the project here at the museum. Currently, we're working on the carousel addition. Yesterday, we started with the precast removal on the outside of the building here. By removing the precast, we were able to take down our curtain walls, our big showcase windows, opening this carousel vestibule up for better access. We found it of great importance to make sure that the carousel is protected from the weather. We had our subcontractor Great Lakes Systems come in and really work the area to be sure we wouldn't have any leaks or that the carousel wouldn't be undermined in any way. With that being the gem of the museum, we really wanted to make sure it was protected and I think we did just that. When we remove the steel columns, we're going to have a lot more open space. You're going to see the roof connector come off, mechanicals are going to be removed and this is going to end up being a nice vestibule walkthrough. So there will be an entrance to the museum here, and then there will be an entrance to the carousel. We're going to put in new concrete. We're going to build a new connector roof, so there will be a covered space that you'll be able to enjoy and view the carousel from, which will be a lot better and more of an upgrade than what we have now, where there's not a lot of space for people to stand internally while they're watching the carousel run. Another added feature to the expansion is going to be the terrace up atop here. It's going to be more accessible from the inside of the museum. Currently, there's no entrance to get onto the terrace. It's not a usable space. After we're done with construction, that'll offer another valid access to look over the river. It'll be a nice addition to things like weddings and, and the school. Currently, from the inside of the museum, you'll see our temporary wall set up, kind of blocking the new construction from the Galleria. We are projected to be finished in the summer of 2025. 